The final basic gate that we're going to look at is the exclusive OR. So we know that we could generate the exclusive OR if we took the exclusive NOR, which is our function here, and then put it through an inverter, and this would give us our exclusive OR. So you can go ahead and try and build that if you like, that's one realisation of an exclusive OR. Now another option is to build it like this here, so it's very similar here, but we don't need the inversion. And you can see here that the output is actually going to come from this point. And the only difference here now as well, there's a little line across here. Now in reality, this one here would also work if we joined these two points together. Again, you can try that for yourself whenever you go in and have a, a, a look at the um, e exclusive NOR, which we did in the previous video, and you can join them together and check and see the, the final output. But what to note here is that this is an exclusive OR, so what we're really wanting with an exclusive OR is whenever both inputs are low, we get a low output. When both inputs are high, we get a low output. It's only when we get a 0 and a 1, or a 1 and a 0, that we get a high output. So that's our exclusive OR function. So you can see here that we're going to get that. If we have an A and B on this side, and an A dash and B dash on this side. So if we were to say, for example, uh, both the inputs were lows, so both of these were low, then both of these values here, these would be off. But then both of these would be on because they'd be the complement. So this would be pulled low. So that means that whenever we've got a, a zero and a zero in, then we'll have a, a zero out. Alternatively, if both the inputs were high, so these two were high, then these two here would be low, and this point again would be pulled low. So if we get a 0, 0 or a 1, 1, we're going to get a 0, 0 out. So alternatively, if one is a 0 and the other one is a 1, it means one of them will be turned on and the other will be turned off. So it means that this point here would be pulled high. So we're going to have a pull down logic here, which is going to give us an exclusive OR, and we just mirror the pull down logic with the pull up logic um, above. So let's have a look at this in the uh, design and layout in the EDA tool. So this is the exclusive OR function, and this is the schematic built up. So we've got our A and our B inputs going through the inversion, giving us our A dash and B dash. And we've got our full four pull-up uh, PMOS transistors and our four pull-down CMOS, uh, NMOS transistors. So let's have a look at the actual diagram again. And we'll, just as a reminder. So that's what we have here. Okay, so this is the connections here. And you can see here in this one, we've got the connection between this point here and this point. So you can go ahead and just build that yourself and... Uh, the EDA tool, and you can simulate it as you've done in the previous videos. So let's go ahead and we'll have a look at the layout. And this is the layout view here. Again, we've got our two inverters, so we've got our B and our B dash here, and we've got our A and our A dash, so that's an inverter 1 and inverter 2. And then we're going to have our four PMOS transistors here, and our four NMOS transistors. Again, let's have a look at the actual drawing here. So this is the schematic, and you can see in the schematic here again, we're going to start off at the VDD, and we come in here, and we're coming in down through this point, and we can see that this is the transistor given by A dash at the gate, and then it goes through onto the transistor with A at the gate, but we notice the difference here now is that the one in the center is actually um, connected. So there is a connection here. Now we'll just follow this route along. We'll ignore this connection for the moment. So we're coming down through here. We get to this point here. So this point here is this point. And then we continue along and then we go up through this transistor here, B. So this point here is this point here. And we've got our transistor B. And we've got the other side of the transistor, which is again this point here. 
and then the final side of that, that final transistor is here which is going to go back up to our VDD. So we just go through that route again. We go VDD all the way along transistor A, A dash, B, B dash up to the VDD. So we go around in this A dash A, B, B dash. Now the two points here are connected together. So this is this point here and this point here. So we've connected these together. Now this connection here also goes down through and you can follow this f all the way down through B and A. So it comes down through here, metal 2, one of this connection goes through B, then goes through A and down to ground. And from this side here it goes to B dash, A dash, so it goes through B dash, A dash down to the ground here as well. And you can see that I've got the connections here as well for our uh, our gate connection, so it's our B dash going to the B dash here, and this is the B dash input in metal two, and we've got our A dash here as well. A dash come along here, and that's the A dash, and we've got input coming in here to get to our um, A dash, and the final two connections, which are going to be from our B, so our B goes to our B. And this is the connection into the B point here, which is in metal 2, the big pink colour. And we've also got our A going to our A there and heading out through the contact here. Again, the pink contact here to this point, which is our A input. So that's the design done here. Again, if you build it up yourself, you could maybe get it a bit neater and tidier. There's, there's lots of different ways, obviously, you can go ahead and, and, des and design this. So let's go ahead and we'll have a look at the simulation and we'll see how this thing is actually working. So we head into the simulation file here and we can get into Tools, Spice, right, Spice Deck, VA, VB and Vout. Add plot pane, add plot pane, and we'll put the VA up the top, and then we'll put the VB, and then down the bottom here, we've got the output. So you can see here that whenever both inputs are high, we've got a low, out, low output, or whenever both inputs are low, we've got a low output. So we've only got a high input if either one, either VA is high or VB is high, and this gives us our high output. So this is our exclusive OR function. So that's working fine. Let's get now and we'll have a final look at the 3D window. So again, I'll get into this one here. Tools, window, 3D view. And we'll have a look at this. And you can see our 3D view here. Again, we have our Inverter here for our A and A dash, inverter over here for our B and our B dash, and we have the four PMOS transistors along here and the four NMOS transistors along the bottom, and the output is given at this point here. So, again, you can go ahead and build this for yourself, or you can open up my example that we have here. So that's us finished with the basic gates, so we'll go ahead now and we'll start building some more interesting blocks. Thank you for listening, I'll get you in the next video. Goodbye.